I'm sorry? Okay, we're going to get started at 9.31. Um, I'm going to call this meeting to order of the Town of Brownsville Licensing Authority. Uh, this is a public meeting uh, today, Monday, December 11th, 2023, being held in the James H. Crocker Jr. Hearing Room on the second floor here at 367 Main Street. Uh, the meeting is televised via Xfinity Channel 8 or High Definition Channel 1072. And um, before we begin, let me introduce those of us who are up at the dais. Uh, I'm John Flores, uh, the Vice Chairman of the Licensing Authority. To my right is Larry Decker, uh, Clerk of the Authority. Uh, to his right is Nancy Carlson Lidman, member, and Jessica Silver, member of the board. To my left is David Anthony, uh, Director of all sorts of things for the town, <laughs> property and licensing. And to my far left is Grace Rogers, uh, who works within uh, the department itself. Um, this is a notice of recording which is required. Uh, this meeting of the Barnstable Licensing Authority is being recorded and broadcast on the Town of Barnstable's Government Access Channel in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 30A, Section 20. The Chair must inquire whether anyone else is recording this meeting and if so, please make their presence known. Is anyone in the audience recording? Not seeing any, we can move to public comment. Is there any public comment? Not seeing or hearing any public comment. Um, are there any approval of any minutes? There's none at this time. So we can move uh, right into new applications. Uh, the first order of the day, this is a special uh, one day application. It's been filed by Rock Voices of Deerfield, Mass to hold Rock Voices Hyannis concert a live choral performance, including a band, to be held at the Barnstable Performing Arts Center, located at 744 West Main Street, Hyannis, on January 14th, 2024, at 4 p.m. Is there anyone from Rock Voices here to speak with us today? Uh, excuse uh, me, sir. Um, we knew beforehand that they would not be in attendance, and Aaron specifically spoke with them directly, and uh, she had recommended that this move forward, even though they are not here today, because it is a simple entertainment license. Okay, that's understood. So, having read this application, Mr. Chairman, I moved uh, to approve the application filed by Rock Voices of Deerfield as submitted. I second. Okay, um, it's been, motion's been made, it's been seconded. Uh, let's signify uh, all by saying aye or aye. raising your hand. Aye. aye. Thank you. Okay, item number two uh, is a new application to amend an all alcohol common victual change of manager. This is an application that was filed by Blue Moon at 430, 430 Main Street, doing business as Blue Moon for a change of alcohol manager from Charlton Ferguson to Aubrey Foster. Is there anyone here uh, relative to this particular issue? I don't see anyone, so I will look to Mr. Anthony as to whether we should put this in abeyance or we should vote on it. Um, I think typically what we've done is uh, allowed this to slide to the <clears throat> end of the meeting to see if anyone is just running a little bit late. We move on to the next items and then we circle back and take this up. That's fair enough. Okay, then moving on to uh, public hearings. Uh, item number one on the agenda is to amend a Class 1 auto dealer license. An application was filed by 499 Route 6A, Inc., doing business as Jeep Cape Cod, located at 556 Yarmouth Road, Hyannis, for an amended Class 1 auto dealer license. The proposal includes 439 total spaces, 68 combined retail, office staff and service spaces, which includes two handicapped spaces and one van accessible space, plus, 369, plus 369 spaces for vehicle storage. And I see someone from uh, Jeep Cape Cod at I, the uh, podium, if you could introduce yourself. Uh, yes, Attorney Jeff Ford here, um, together with Joe Laham, who's the manager. 
Um, so what we've done, we, we were in back in 2021, Mr. Laham acquired 518 and 556 Yarmouth Road, which used to be the old Hyundai dealership. And at that time, we added it on to his premier Cape Cod license so it could be used in conjunction with the Jeep dealership while we constructed a new and permitted a new Jeep facility next door. So that building has since been taken down. The new Jeep dealership has been constructed, and we're now moving Jeep from the premier Cape Cod license onto its own license in its own building next door. So that's what we've filed for today. Okay. Thank you. Are there any questions from any members of the authority? Yeah, just, just um, the numbers. <clears throat> it's shown 68 combined retail and 369 <clears throat> spaces for a vehicle. But yet there's supposed to be, um, there's supposed to be 439. That's, that's uh, 437. So are we missing something here? Um, yeah, 439 is what we had on the site plan, I thought, unless I typed in. Was the site plan 439? I thought the site plan was 439. Yeah, the site plan's 439, so I may have just typed that in wrong when I submitted the application. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I just Yeah, so that is our <clears throat> latest site plan that Atlantic approved when we um, went in for the new dealership design and layout. So 68 combined retail and the four, or, and the 369 for vehicle, vehicles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the application of Jeep Cape Cod as submitted. Can I just oh. one more uh, quick thing? So we are filing for a new DBA certificate for this one, and we had it listed as Jeep of Cape Cod, and it's going to be premier. Well, we're gonna take that as a separate item. Okay, yeah. sure. We'll take, and uh, this is a public hearing. Yep. So I am required to ask if anyone from the public uh, who is here, uh, and I don't see anyone who is sure. interested, so we will move on item number one first. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the application for Jeep of Cape Cod as submitted. I second. Okay, it's been, motion's been made, uh, it's been seconded. Signify all by saying aye. 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 I'm uh, excusing myself from this. Okay, make a note that Jessica Silva recused herself from this vote. Thank you. Okay, moving on to item number two. This is to amend class one auto dealer license. An application was filed by 499 Route 6A, Inc., doing business as Premier Cape Cod. Once again, located at 500 Yarmouth Road, Hyannis, inclusive of 460, uh, excuse me, of 460 and number 518 Yarmouth Road, as well as 93 Rosalie, Rosary Lane in Hyannis to amend their Class 1 auto dealer license. The applicant proposes to remove Jeep from the existing site at 556 Yarmouth Road, Hyannis. So this is a um, public hearing. I'll ask you first to... Uh, share whatever comments you might have, and then we'll open it up to a public hearing. Sure. Uh, so just on the last one, I was just saying but on, that it's going to be premier Cape Cod Jeep instead of Jeep of Cape Cod. That's, I, I just, that's why I was trying to get it on the last one. I apologize. Not a problem. And we're filing an amended DBA certificate that we'll submit to licensing for that. So. Okay. Any questions from members of the board? So that's going to be, the new one's going to be Premier Cape Cod? Premier Cape Cod Jeep, and then the other one will be Premier Cape Cod uh, Dodge Chrysler and Ram. So oh, they're, they're it, broken out now. If I could, if I could, let's, um, and Erin has trained me well. Uh, she likes to see things as clean as possible. So we may want to accept that amendment on yep. the first vote and make sure that it doesn't say Jeep Cape Cod DBA, um, that we put in the correct Sure. Um, one and then revote that so that it's reflected in the minutes correctly. Um, so we're going to amend item number one from Jeep Cape Cod to Premier Cape Cod. Premier Cape Cod Jeep. Premier Cape Cod Jeep. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just that's why I was trying to get it in on the last Sorry about one. That. I yep. apologize. Okay, I, I was reading from uh, what was here and it didn't indicate that. No. So act, we're going to amend the Class One Auto Dealer License to read. Uh, 499 Route 6, Route 6A, Inc. doing business as Jeep Cape Cod to Premier Cape Cod Jeep. Any questions? Okay, uh, all second. those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I'm excusing myself from this. Okay, and make a note that Jessica Silva has recused herself. And then moving on to um, item number two, that is... 
well, as I've already read it, so. <laughs> so, so again, for the record, Attorney Jeff Ford here with uh, Joe Laham, who's the manager. Uh, so this is the existing site, which is going to continue on just as it has, um, with the exception of Jeep will be moved over um, to the new building. So that will be the Jeep Sales and Service Building next door. The existing sales and service buildings will be used for Premier Cape Cod, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. And so those three brands will remain there. So no other changes on that license other than we've removed Jeep and put it next door. So 518 and 556 are the Jeep license. And uh, Premier, will, Premier Cape Cod, which is Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, will remain as, they, as they've been. Okay. Okay. Um, having read this and having had an explanation, this is a public hearing. I don't see any questions from the public. So we can vote on this. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the application of Premier Cape Cod Jeep as submitted. And I second. Okay, the motion's been made. It's been seconded. All those in favor signify, signify by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. 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 I'm excusing okay. myself from this. Make a note that Jessica Silva has recused herself, and that is a vote. That is approved. Great. Congratulations. Hey, Good luck. Thank you very much. I drive by there all the time. It looks terrific. <laughs> a lot of work there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, uh, next uh, on the agenda, uh, temporary closures. I guess we have to vote to allow this to happen. Um, do I need to read each and every one of these, or can we no. just look at these as, uh, as written? I, I make a motion to accept the temporary closures as uh, printed. And I second. Okay, there's been a motion made for the temporary closures as listed on the agenda. Uh, in a second, all those in favor signify by saying aye or raising their hand. Aye. aye. Okay, that is a vote. Okay, let's move on to the uh, consent agenda. Um, this is uh, item number one, renewal of a special one-day uh, license. An application was filed by Paul Lococo to hold the annual Barnesville High School celebration at 744 West Main Street, Hyannis, a live performing arts benefit. Concert to be held on January 20th, 2024 at 7 p.m. as written. Um, for, for the record, uh, Aaron did recommend that a police detail be recommended for the benefit concert. As, as uh, Officer Kelsey is here, I would defer to him if he thinks that that is uh, still the correct course of action. Uh, that recommendation came after conversation with uh, Aaron Logan, and it's strictly just because of the number of people. Um, so we don't anticipate a, an issue with the organization by any means. That's just the, the number of people that were anticipated to attend. So we will amend the renewal of the special one-day license as written uh, to include uh, one police detail. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> I move to approve the consent agenda as printed, noting that due to the anticipated attendance, one police detail is recommended uh, for the benefit concert at the Barnstable Performing Arts Center on January 20th, 2024. Okay, a motion has been made with a second. I, I second. second. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> okay, a motion has been made with a second. With uh, a second. Uh, members of the commission, all those in favor, signify by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. 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 Okay, that is a vote. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to go back to um, the temporary closures. Um, we approved the temporary closures, but I would like to make sure that um, we noted that Blue Moon will remain an annual license until such time that an application for a change of license class is issued before the authority. So noted. Uh, this actually ties in with item number two that we had deferred to the end of the meeting in the hopes that someone would be here and a procedure generally is for a change of manager that we would move this to the next meeting which would then be added to the agenda on December 27th. Okay. Okay. So we're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. And uh, finally, um, well not finally, but 2024 renewal applications. Um, I would make a motion to accept uh, all of those renewal applications uh, submitted as printed. And I second. Okay, that has been um, read with a motion and a second. This is to 
approve the 2024 renewal application as written. I'll signify members of the board by saying, or raising a hand or saying aye. 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 Okay, that is a vote. Okay, finally, um, two other items on the agenda. Uh, one is uh, any licensing department updates, followed by any police department updates. Um, yes, uh, one of the key elements to discuss today, well, actually not discuss, but to notice is to remind people that as of the first of the year, our meeting schedule times and dates start to change. Uh, we are moving to a different date and a different time. Um, so while our next meeting is on December 27th, which is a Monday, um, I believe January 24th, the meeting following that will be a Wednesday and will be a 10 o'clock start. Right. I believe it is the <laughs> fourth, the fourth Wednesday of every month be. at 10 a.m. The December 27th is uh, on a Wednesday. Is it on? Is it a Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. I uh, this time of year, I'm lucky if I remember to have breakfast. So, um, so for the public's not, uh, acknowledgement, December 27th is a Wednesday at 9:30. Correct. Um, which will be the last meeting of 2023, and then beginning in January 2024, we will move to uh, Wednesdays, the fourth Wednesday of the month uh, at 10 a.m. here in the James Crocker hearing room. Any questions or any comments on that? Okay, not hearing any. Any other updates from the licensing? Officer Kelsey, uh, any police updates from the... Uh, Police Department? Um, just one one item. Uh, I had spoken with Director Logan about this last week, and it's something that has come to my attention several times now in the last few months, and it's just something to put on your radar for going forward in the next year. I had had um, at least two or three inquiries from license holders in the town of Barnstable, and then one from a license holder outside of the town of Barnstable concerning hours of operations for our licensed alcohol establishments. And the, the concern was that the alcohol licensees were not staying open. Um, and when I, when I say that, what I mean is if they have a 1 o'clock license, they're closing consistently at 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the evening, whether it be because of staffing, whether it be because of uh, business. Um, and the licensees from within the town of Barnstable uh, their concern was, listen, we're struggling too, but we're making it happen because we're offering a service to the community as we are um, supposed to be doing. And how come we're staying open, but somebody else doesn't have to? Um, the same sentiment came from the license, uh, licensee from outside of the town of Barnstable, <coughs> and they said in their community, they actually required to stay open uh, for the hours that are listed on their alcohol license. Um, I've not researched that. Uh, that's just what was told to me. Um, but it's something that I did assure all of them that I would bring up to the licensing authority and just put into the back of your minds uh, for a conversation maybe down the road. Thank you, Officer Kelsey. Might I suggest if we know who might be a violator of the policy in terms of staying open till technically they say they would, would the, does the police department follow up on that? Well, actually, this is why I'm bringing it up for, for conversation's sake. I'm not sure that they're actually violating anything. That's okay. Good question. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't believe that the way that the, the rules are written, that they're actually in violation of anything. Okay. So it really comes down to a fairness conversation. And does the board want to do something to sort of rein this in a little bit? Or is the board good with, hey, this is how it is, and we're, we're giving people some leeway in this matter? Well, speaking for myself, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to get a legal ruling from the town's legal office to see if, in fact, they are required. And secondly, um, I think I would want to use common sense yeah. <laughs> in this and you know, leave, it to the, um, leave it to you and your staffs. Um, enforcement uh, procedures relative to how it gets handled and if there's a problem then bring it back to the licensing board and we'll deal with it yeah and, and like I said I mean I at this point I I am not saying that there is any violation that's happening um, it really was that I like I said I think it really just comes down to, to certain people saying it's a fairness issue sure. so I did say that I would bring it forward, so that's what I'm doing here today. Okay. Any other comments from any members of the board? It, it would. Well, this is the reason why we passed this morning um, several businesses that are closing, and if you'll notice, it says due to lack of business. Yep. Right. So 
we we have to be careful here because we may be forcing others to take the same stance rather than try to stay open. And if, if we find that some of them are, there, there's a difference if some of them take one night or a month or two nights or whatever and close, and then somebody that's doing it five nights a week, they're closing at 10 o'clock. Right. So there's, those are issues that I guess we need to address on how we can handle it. So. I think it's a good good food for thought. Yeah, and, and just to be very clear again, it might be an issue where there is absolutely no action needed. Right. Okay. Well, again, I'll go back to my initial comment. Let's first and foremost get a legal ruling okay. to see if, in fact, that's required. And then second, as uh, authority member uh, Decker suggested, you know, let's use some, some common sense and yep. monitor this. and. If it needs to come before us as the uh, licensing authority, so, so be it. You'll bring it forward, but you'll be our conduit, so to speak. You know, with the uh, with the restaurants in in question. Okay. Any other questions? Any other comments uh, regarding another subject, um, Officer Kelsey? Did you have the opportunity uh, the last time we had a uh, a meeting here with a, um, a business that was continually. Um, violating some of the rules and um, I thought we sort of left it is that you and they need to get together and sort of iron things out was there any movement on that I'm going to apologize we've had that conversation with so many different yeah. businesses here I'm not exactly sure which one you're speaking of well as the young lad that was here um, with regard to the um, auto dealership okay um, we've had no further conversation with them. I will say that um, we have had two encounters with them on other police matters where other police action has been taken um, either against the company or that gentleman. And those matters have been forwarded to the Mass State Police as well as the registry. Uh, there was criminal action taken against them. Wow. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, any other comments, any other questions? Not hearing or seeing anyone. No more questions from the public. Um, with that being said. I make a motion we adjourn to Wednesday, December 27th. I second. Okay, we have a motion to adjourn with a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Or aye. 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 Okay, thank you, everyone.